guys welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this super cute holiday updo using big chop hair clippings and i'll also be doing the makeup look that you see me wearing so stay tuned so I'm first going to be starting off on an old wash and go that I'm ready to finally stretch out. So I'll be using the Big Chop Hair Kinky Curl Clip-Ins and these are custom colors. So they come in the long lengths with three clips, shorter lengths with two clips, and the small ones with one clip. If you would like to see how I color my Big Chop Hair Extensions, I will link that video below. So to start styling, I'm just going to section my hair row by row and I've done this before. This is just going to be a twist out that I'm going to be creating. So but I want the twist out to be really really long in the front so I want it to kind of hang kind of like a really really long bang so I'm going to focus my twist outs going forward in the front of my head as you can see I'm using a butter and I'm using a styling mousse and I'm using a little bit of oil and I'm just creating my twist outs making sure that I am I'm combing through to blend my hair with the extensions because the extensions are a lot softer than my hair and so I'm just going to be working that through and making sure that I twist it really really tightly because I want my twist out to be very defined so I'm just going to create this in the front of my head and at the crown separating it and I'm adding the extensions as I go you don't want to add your extensions and then do the twist out because it can be a bit much so you just want to go section by section so you do not overwhelm yourself because it can be a lot as you can see I'm cutting the extensions to the length that I want it to be and I am just twisting it going forward and that's it so I'm just gonna let this dry overnight and then I'm gonna finish the process once it's fully dried because you do not want to take down a wet twist out girl no so now I'm going to start on my face so first I'm going to be using the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and it's their mattifying primer and so I'm just going to really concentrate this underneath my eye and where I typically produce a lot of oil on my face and now I'm going to take the Anastasia dip brow in dark brown I've actually gotten my brows microbladed so that's going to be a separate video guys so I'm adding a little bit of that dip brow on the tip of my eyebrows and a little bit at the front of my eyebrows to kind of give it the gradual effect I'm going to take my trusty NYX concealer in medium and I'm going to use that to conceal underneath my brows and this is going to really define my brows and clean up the look and then I'm just going to blend the rest of it out with my fingers Next, I want to take the Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in the color Peach. And I have been having a lot of breakouts. Like, my hormones are all over the place. I've been having to do a lot of color correcting, which absolutely sucks. But I have started a new skin regimen, so I'm hoping that that works. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And I'm also going to use the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops, which is going to add a nice illuminating effect. And so I'm just going to place this on my Beauty Blender. And for my foundation, I typically kind of start where the color correcting is and just work my way around my face. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. And I'm mixing that with the Lancome Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. And so I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender as well. And then I'm going to be taking the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to set that. So for my eyes, I'll be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Minor Sin. And so I'll just be placing that on my eyelids. I'll be using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is so pretty. I'll be using the color Zone, which is a medium brown, kind of like a topish brown. And I'll be using that as my transition color. And so I'm just gonna blend that in with a blending brush. Next, I'm gonna take the color Steady and I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and apply that on the inner corners of my lid and kind of working my way to the middle of my lid. And then I'm going to take Take 1987A, the best year ever. Kind of like an antique-ish gold. And I'm going to take this small concentrated eyeshadow brush and concentrate that on my lid and make sure that I just pat it in. And then I'm going to blend it out on the outer corners with that same blending brush. Next, I'm going to take Danger, which is a super, super pretty royal blue color with a little bit of sparkle in it. So I'm going to use this color instead of like a black for my smoky eye. 
I did not want to go for harsh. I wanted to go smoky but soft. So I'm just going to apply a couple of layers of this eyeshadow to the outer edges of my eyelid and then I'm just going to blend it out and I'll be going back in a little bit later to blend it out some more. Next I'm going to be taking the color Serious and mixing that with Blackout just to kind of add a little bit more dimension to the crease of my eye to kind of deepen the uh, smoky effect. And I'm just going to blend, 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 and blend some more, and then blend some more. And then next, I'm going to go back in with Danger and apply that to my lower lid. And I'm just going to kind of take this more concentrated eyeshadow brush and kind of go in towards the outer V of my eye to kind of make it into like a cat shape. Next, I'm going to be using Maybelline's The Nudes palette. I love this palette. I'm going to be using the lightest color to kind of blend the lower lash line with that blue. And then I'm going to take the lightest color and mix it with that. The gold is champagne, and I want to put this in the inner tear ducts of my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Subversion. And this is a primer for my lashes. And so I'm just going to take this and apply this to my lashes to kind of thicken them next I want to take one of my favorite mascaras which is the makeup forever excessive lash mascara I love this stuff then I'm gonna go in with my falsies which is the Ardell demi wispies I love those because they're not too too dramatic but they're not super simple either they're very very natural I'm using the lash glue that came in the packet because I couldn't find my other lash glue and next I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and use the color bath water to highlight my brow bone oh and I forgot that I did apply eyeliner I just did it off camera because it was getting on my nerves so I'll be using the L'Oreal infallible pro contour palette to contour my cheeks and a little bit of my nose and my jawline I'm not going to go overboard with this, just something super soft. And then I'm going to go back in with the setting powder just to define a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. And I'm going to use the colors Easy and Hush. I'm going to mix those together for my blush. And as you can see, it is gorgeous. And then I'm going to go in with Angel. And this is a really, really pretty soft champagne color. And I'm going to use this as my highlight. As you can see, I am glowing. Uh, 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 uh. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to use Max Cork to line my lips, my little penny lips. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked 2 lipstick. And then I'm going to finish that off with Urban Decay Naked. It's called Freestyle and it's their Ultra Nourishing Gloss. And that's it. So now I'm going to finish off my hair, darling. So I'm just going to undo those twists that I did on the sides. I did not add any additional hair to the sides of my hair because I'm going to be twisting it down in just a little bit. So I'm just going to take down my twists and make sure that they are not damp because uh, that would just be the worst. But I did find that a few of them at the very top were a little damp. So I went in off camera with a diffuser and dried it. And so I'm just going to take my pick and fluff it out in the front. And then I'm just going to take some edge tamer and just flat twist the sides of my hair into uh, two different flat twists. First I did four flat twists, but it looks crazy. So I just went in and did two flat twists. Down, and I'm just going to secure those twists with a bobby pin and just kind of twerk it a little bit with some edge tamer and just kind of get it the way that I want it and that's it and this is so easy for just a really cute holiday party or a get together or even a date so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'll make sure that I link all of the information down below as well as the promo code for the big chop hair clip-ins that I have in my hair see you guys later Mwah.